Well, my sports obsession really started with a piece of cake because my father was a cricket nut and I was playing cricket in the garden with him one day when I was about 12 and we were listening to Test Match Special and they were talking about eating cake, the commentators, and I said, are these people really being paid to watch the cricket and eat all afternoon? And he said, yes, they are. And I said, well, that's, that's what I want to do. Because even by the age of 12, I'd worked out that sadly I was never going to play at Lords for England or play at Wembley or play at Twickenham. And um, I think like most of us broadcasters, we're, we're failed sportsmen. So to be a sports nut, to, to wake up every day and to go to a great sporting event, it's, it's not work. It is the most enormous privilege. So I was listening to Sports Report a lot on, on Radio 2 with my dad. He used to clean his shoes for the week. Uh, while listening to the football results and the racing results at five o'clock every Saturday. So to grow up then and present the programme with that famous music at the top has been incredible. And then to branch out as, as we do these days and be quite ubiquitous and to work for Premier League television around the world and you hear... I've had friends ring me up and say, I've seen you from the Seychelles or Rwanda or from Mauritius or my niece was in Borneo. She said, rang me up and said, I've just seen you in this deserted island on the television. Um, and then to work with some of these people, I mean, someone like Jeffrey Boycott, I mean, I'm a, I love cricket, I'm a village cricketer, Jeffrey tells me things I don't know. And you do sit there and you think, I'm, I'm working next to Jeffrey Boycott. And the pundits are incredibly sophisticated these days, I think, with all the technology they have. They're, they're so much better than they were 20 years ago, to be honest. And they're great value. Someone like Chris Waddle, you know, Italia 90, the semi-final, the missed penalty, you can talk to him about it. They're great fun, they're great value, and this, this is not a job, this is an absolute privilege.